Akata's Children's Book Festival is a fun event that showcases children's books written by African authors or books written for a diverse audience of children. The 2020 event held online had in attendance professional writers, illustrators and publishers in children's books. Plus Event was there to bring you every juicy beat of this event. The show opened with every speaker introducing themselves. As we all know, it's the Akada Children's Book Festival press conference. Because we're doing, you know, virtual events, um, unlike um, last year where we had the press, they were able to interact with the guests and the readers. Basharat was one of the authors featured last year and she can, you know, um, attest to that. We wanted to give, you know, uh, the press and our guests and some of the speakers featured at this year's festival the opportunity to have a conversation and be able to, um, you know, uh, really just talk about this and so that the message can be passed out. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Basira Terezak Shuai. I am the founder of the Winfred Center for Children and Women. I am an educationist, I am a cognitive specialist, and I am also a researcher. My focus is to ensure that children with disabilities get included in society. My name is Ugochi Obidebu. I'm a development strategist. I create products, programs, and I provide policy advisory on pressing development issues that affect young people. So for now, my work areas are around child safety and reducing substance abuse in youth. I'm the author of a child safety storybook series, The Adventures of Mula. They also spoke on some of the challenges of organizing a virtual book festival. Yes, unfortunately this year we couldn't do the pop-up library for obvious reasons because we're not physically together, but We've been able to add features. We've been able to expand the book exhibition. I think last year, perhaps we, we only had about 17 different, not only, we had 17 different um, book exhibitors. Um, this year we have 37, 38, um, and that's fantastic. In addition, this year we've added the art exhibition and we didn't have to go and spend money, you know, building galleries or knocking down walls. And why is this important? And this leads me to a, a segue um, about the uh, illustration competition. Art is part of, okay, the ability to express oneself comes in various forms and art is a form of self-expression. It's a form of communication. So. It goes to me, to my mind, it goes hand in hand with literature, hand in hand with theater, and you know, all these things, they go together. And perhaps next year, we'll be able to have theater as well as a component of, um, of the Akara Children's Book Festival. Also discussed were the critical things parents should know about virtual learning and the safety of kids online. The pandemic made everyone to go online. And even though now school has resumed physically, we still have cases of blended learning. And again, you know, the education has actually been disrupted, you know, with the protests and with other things. So for some reason, everybody has seen that it is important to ensure that that online component is still there. However, there is a risk to children, most especially because they are young and some predators are going to target these children. And that is why it is important for parents, for teachers, for school owners to be educated on how to keep the children safe. Now, it's not enough for just the adults to know what to do. The children should also be carried along because it takes both parties to stay safe. Some people are actually waiting to target our children, either through video games, through other stuff. So there are major risks that parents must know. There are three major risks that children are exposed to when they come online. Um, content risk, conduct risk, and contact risk. And the reason this is important is because Many people know that the parents will protect themselves, but the children do not know how. And many times as parents, we hand over devices to these children without preparing them for what they will see. If we do not groom digitally resilient children, what that means is they are going to be assaulted by certain things they would see online and they wouldn't know how to react because nobody has said anything to them. You were at the Akada Children's Book Festival last year as a participant, as an attendant, and this year you're speaking. Tell us why it's important for children to read and to love reading. 
and what you also you know talked about in your session today hello everyone um once again my name is abinami i think it's important i know it's important for children to read books because one it increases the vocabulary skills and it also helps them to communicate better when you're reading books when you're reading books it might be translated in a lot of languages it also it also helps you to learn new languages to learn new languages and new words books also increase your imagination and it can even help you to be a bestseller story writer books can do a lot of things for you and some kids might say they don't like reading books but maybe it's just because they haven't found the right book one of the panelists spoke on the effects of non-nigerian books in our environment especially when it involves kids basically when i started i didn't know so much about children literature i just wanted to try as a teenager but as I went into the whole experience and I had my work, my first work being selected by the World, uh, by the World Bank then. And what they did was to buy a thousand five hundred copies and distribute across the libraries. It made a whole lot of sense to me because they were making books available to people. But as I grew older, I discovered there's this thing about writing which is called identity. We want our children to see themselves in the books they read. And that is very important. I grew up reading some of books, some books like that, written by Colin Odipe, Super Equines. Foreign books were infiltrating to the market, and um, children were having more access to those books, and they were sort of losing their identity. So, but today, 2020, we've seen more authors, more art writers springing up today, both old and young, male and female, bringing new content, telling our stories properly. There's been a lot of improvement so far from what I can see, and I think we can still do more because we must speak our language, we must use our names, we must describe our characters in the way that the children can see themselves too, and they should understand everything they are reading. I've done a couple of projects in this regard, and I've seen other writers doing so many works in this regard, and I think it makes a whole lot of sense. We are doing a lot now, it's getting better, and with this kind of festival, it's giving us more avenue to showcase our talent, showcase our works, and give people more access to what we can do as Nigerian writers and as African authors too.